moved to San Francisco to go to college. I went to school at USF and then actually graduated from UC Berkeley and just fell in love with San Francisco and never left. I got my first job out of college in downtown San Francisco. I went to work for IBM and that was a, a great place to get uh, you know, the big American corporate experience, but it wasn't really what, what I was passionate about. My sister and I went to France and Italy for four months, and we just went back and forth between the two. And while I was there, I went to cooking school in Paris and also in Nice, and realized that that was something that I was very, very passionate about. I grew up cooking with my mother in the kitchen a lot. I'm one of nine children. I have five brothers and three sisters. That definitely was where I developed the passion for cooking because there was so much, you know, food and, and meal preparation to take care of with that many kids. Here at Tante Marie's in North Beach is where my professional um, cooking career began. And I went to school here for about four months and I felt like a kid in a candy store every day that I came here. From there I began my professional food career by going to work for a wonderful Italian food importer called Ital Foods. I loved the business, but after about seven, eight years, I decided that I wanted to take uh, more control of my financial future, and so I started going to different um, investment seminars and conferences, and it was the confidence that I gained by being a part of that investor's network that I became a full-time real estate investor, and I did that for two to three years, and I was doing well, but then the market started to shift, and uh, in early 2006, I started to look at how everything was working out and thought, you know what, I'm going to be in trouble if I don't do something sooner rather than later. So my wonderful friend Tina Dupart and I have been uh, part of a uh, weekly mastermind call for the last several years with, along with four other of our girlfriends. And on May 2nd, 2006, Tina called and got on the call and introduced the idea of Montevideo. I just knew right away that this was something that I wanted to check out with her. And at the time, neither one of us knew anything about any of this. But I just had this feeling right away that this could be the cash machine that I thought I was going to have to create on my own. She signed me up right then. And uh, we spent the next couple of weeks doing our due diligence and learning a lot more about the product and under really understanding the compensation plan. And I was really excited about all of it and, and I could see the potential and I believed that uh, I could be really successful at this. When Monavi came into my life it was, it was such a good fit for me with my background in food and nutrition and it's, it's really easy for me to talk to people about better nutrition. Blake Mitchell and I and about 15 of our good friends created a nonprofit foundation called Estrellas Para Niños. And for the last four or five years, we've been helping to support four orphanages in Juarez, Mexico. And three or four times a year, we, we take a group down to Juarez and we spend several days and we work on construction projects and painting and mostly playing with the kids. These kids have had really rough lives and we've been consistent enough and go often enough now that they call us their aunts and uncles. It's just been an incredibly rewarding experience to know that there's a hundred kids in Mexico that go to sleep at night with a little bit better life because of what we're doing together. One of my dreams is to uh, build orphanages all over the world and you know we've already got a, a start doing that with our Estrellas Para Niños group and I know I'm going to get a lot more involved with the MORE project but I know that Montevi is definitely the vehicle to help me um, do that. That's actually my favorite part about building the Montevi business. I mean, I, I love everything about the business. I love that it helps people to get healthier, and I love the people that decide that they want to build it. I love helping them to gain financial freedom. I love the own financial freedom that I've achieved with Montevi. But my favorite part about building this business is the people that we get to become because we decided to build this business. If you want to step into bigger shoes, building a Montevi business is a great way to do it. I have nine nephews and six nieces, and Barbara is my oldest niece, and we've always been really, really close. She's just a fantastic young woman now, and she's recently started to build her Montevi business. Well, it's really fun to be able to work on it with her, and I've been you know, bringing some friends into the business. 
we've always been close ever since I was really young and it's wonderful because she's my aunt, she's a mother figure, a girlfriend, you know, it's just we have a wonderful multifaceted relationship. We got to be really close when I was younger because um, her brother, my father, passed away when I was five. Aunt Kathleen really was an important, special, special person in my life, has always been and you know, will continue to be. One of the things that I always tell people as I'm introducing Mana V is that even though I've been in sales for 20 years, this is the easiest product I have ever not sold. I really don't feel like I sell Mana V. I just tell people about it. I really do just share uh, the product with people. If you fall in love with the Mana V product, you can build a great business. If you fall in love with the Mana V business model, you can build a tremendous business. If you fall in love with both of them, the product and the business, it can be a magical experience.